Hi guys, welcome back to One Man's Junk. Just a reminder as always guys, if you are under the age of 18, this channel is not intended for your viewing pleasure. So you will see here, I've got my uh, Masters of the Universe alarm clock. Uh, not because I'm sleeping, but um, well, it's a little bit of a mystery. We'll come back to that later in our finds of the day. But uh, just before we do, uh, you may be aware that it is in fact still winter, so it is really cold, there's not much out there, but uh, that hasn't stopped one man's junk. We are still out there looking, hunting. Uh, in fact, we actually did a little video, so uh, why don't you have a quick look? Hello. Hi guys, here we are, we're at the flea market. It is a bloody cold morning. It is negative six and there is nobody here. But we still managed to find some stuff, so uh, let's have a look. Um, I did manage to find a few things. I did only spend three dollars, but uh, let's see what I got for three bucks. So the first thing I got was, have a look at that. Yes, it is Chip Hazard from Hasbro Small Soldiers. Unfortunately, he is pretty much naked. He's missing all the pieces and um, he's got ink on him. But for a dollar, I will take that. Next up, I got this chap here from Popeye. Was he Biffle Beefcake or something like that? I can't remember his exact name. Here, this one's really cool. That's uh, Disney Aladdin Mattel. That's from the cartoon series. Um, I think that's a doled up Jasmine. Definitely one you don't see too often. Here's another one, Disney Dinosaurs. Um, again, there's about three or maybe four Disney dinosaur movies, TV series. This is from the one where um, I think it was a CG movie. I, I definitely haven't seen it. And then finally, this one here, this was really great. I picked this up for a dollar. It's this little cup, but look what's inside. Yes, we've got an alien finger puppet. But even better, look at that Series 1 Garbage Pail Kids Minikins and we've even got the yellow ones which are, which were a little bit harder to find than the regular colored ones. Look, we've got two atom bombs, how cool is that? Alright, and we are back in the nice warm studio. So without further ado, let's have a look at our general finds, why not? First pickup that I'd like to show off here is uh, this chap here, it's one you don't see that often. He is missing most of his accessories. He does still have his skirt. It's not a kilt because he's wearing trousers underneath. So it is most definitely a skirt, a battle skirt, maybe. Um, but this here is Meta Flame. I'm not sure what's so meta about him. Um, maybe I missed it, but here's a series three LJN Dungeons and Dragons figure. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, you may remember I was talking about Blackstar the other week, how uh, most people mistakenly believe that it is in fact a He-Man knockoff, and that's not true because it came before He-Man. So I actually uh, found a few more Blackstar figures, which was great, uh, amongst which I found this guy. He's a Series 3 uh, figure, I think it's a um, mutant or mutagen, something like that. Um, of course, Series 3, so he does have that awesome clicking feature, as was in, uh, featured in the Blackstar advert. I also found uh, this chap here, that's a net tool. He's a series one, so he doesn't have the spark feature here. But what I did find, which was really cool, is one that you don't see too often, series one again, um, but it is the lady. Now, of course, she is naked, missing the accessories here. Um, but this is, of course, Mora. Um, you're gonna notice that there is some paint wear to her, so uh, I'm not gonna ask any questions about the previous owner and what they may or may not have done to her. Um, but I was very pleased to pick her up because my good friend Andrew has been asking me to find one for him for the best part of a year, and I finally delivered. So that was definitely a happy little find. All right, and have a look at this guy here. So. I picked him up thinking he was in fact a knockoff of Brave Star because of course it is a spaceman who is in kind of cowboy outfit. How mistaken was I? This is in fact a knockoff of the Cosmic Cowboys. And believe it or not, the Cosmic Cowboys came out in 1983. So you could actually say that Brave Star was a knockoff of them because Brave Star came out in 1987. So there you go. This guy here is in fact a Western space hero and he is in fact a knockoff of those cosmic cowboys. But in saying that, when I look at the package art, the uh, steed that he is riding looks like a 
could be a 50-50. So, who's to say? But, I can tell you this much. This is definitely a Western space hero or a cosmic cowboy. This is Marshall Bravestar. I picked this up um, just this morning. He is, of course, a money bank. It was only a few bucks, so I'm really happy. He was dirty, cleaned them up, cleaned them up nice. And the big question, yes, it's still got it. Welcome back to Action Figure Identification. So we have a uh, plastic trench coat here that just doesn't really look like much. Um, in fact, I had it for a little while and mistakenly believed it belonged to a Happy Meal toy. Well, I'm in fact happy to report that it was in fact packaged with an Arnold Schwarzenegger action figure and it is from Last Action Hero. And while we're on the subject of awesome live action 90s movies, check out these two guys. Yep, these were packaged with none other than Super Mario Brothers action figures and of course the ones from the movie. Here's two nice crazy looking accessories. So at first glance, you may even believe they belong to the same line. Well, you would be mistaken. The uh, yellow axe here is in fact from Dungeons and Dragons, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, LJN. Whereas this piece here actually belongs from Applause and it is in fact Troll Warriors. Here's a nice annoying one. Why is it annoying? Well, I had the figure, I sold it, and then I found this accessory. So this here was actually packaged with Toy Story and it's one of the uh, evil creations from Sid's house. That would be the baby face. Here's an interesting one. Um, it's interesting because it was in fact packaged with two different figures. So we'll have a quick look and uh, we'll find out now when we post the video. It could either be Swamp Thing, Kenner, or it could be from the Battle Trolls line from Hasbro. I actually believe it may be from Battle Trolls because if you actually uh, look here at uh, the handle, it looks a little bit larger. Here's two nice vintage accessories that came from two classic vintage lines. So the gray club here that you're gonna notice here, that one there was in fact packaged with Kenner Superpowers Calabac. So that's definitely a nice pickup. And that little gray shield here that you may notice there, yes, that in fact is from LJN Thundercats, but that was packaged with the mini snowman. Okay, so these guys here are pretty cool because I didn't find them in the wild. Well, I didn't find them in the wild this week, I found them a while ago and I threw them in my unidentified accessory bin. Well, every few months, I'll go back through that bin and see if I recognize anything. And this is what I picked out. So this radar here is really cool. That was actually packaged with Trendmasters Extreme Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And the little black claw there, I've actually been uh, looking for that. Well, that's one of two because it's usually packaged with two. That was actually packaged with, uh, I believe it's Dr. Terror. Uh, Centurions, Kenner. So that's a great little piece and one that I actually need. All right, guys, and finally, these little missiles here. Well, let me tell you, these missiles have been living in my unidentified accessory bin probably since day one. I put them up online to get identified, no hits. Um, at a total guess, most people assume that they were in fact from Toy Biz, uh, Marvel, like Iron Man, something like that. These, in fact, were packaged with the Space Voltron. I want to say it's Voltrax, something like that. But I actually have the figure, so I'm really happy to have finally, not just found out what they were, but to have placed them again after almost a year and a half in storage. It's that time again, guys. It's time for Finds of the Day. All right, let's get the ball rolling with one of my personal favorites. So, everybody and their granny has heard of G1 Hasbro 
Transformers. Most people have heard of GoBots, but have you ever heard of Select Converters? Well, Select Converters would happen to be these guys. So it's one of my favorite lines. It is, of course, vintage. It's from the 80s. Um, the reason why it's one of my favorite lines is, well, have a look at these guys. So this, let's start off with this chap here. Um, this one here is a pinball. So I love pinball or flipper. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. And here you have a mini pinball machine that works with a ball. Uh, really well made. Looks great. Like converts, not transforms, converts into a uh, robot or a droid or what have you. So definitely one of my favorite lines. You've even got this guy here. This is a working roulette machine. So you could actually play roulette with the lads with your little uh, select converter here. And again, transforms into a robot. So definitely one of my favorite lines, which leads me to one of my favorite finds. Have a look at this little guy. How cool is that? Oh, we got our set. There we go. Have a look at that. That is Select Man. So Select Man would be the Walkman of this uh, series. Now, unfortunately, this one is not a little mini working replica. Um, I did some research. Unfortunately, it is missing the headphone accessories that came with it. But if you slide out the cassette out of the Walkman, you get this little guy here. So again, a great little toy. Um, I, you know, everybody loves Soundwave and all the little micro cassettes that come with them. So when I seen this one here and I picked it up for $4, I mean, it's definitely one of my favorite finds. All right, you may be sitting there with your fingers crossed, just hoping, praying, please don't tell me he's gonna talk about Remco again, or perhaps some Masters of the Universe knockoffs. It's Masters of the Universe knockoffs. So first thing I'd like to point out would be this chap here. So this is King Randor, uh, just a regular, regular Masters of the Universe action figure. Then we have here, which is a Galaxy Fighter, which would be a regular Masters of the Universe knockoff. So of course you'll see that they look kind of similar. As always, the builds are similar, but there is minor differences. Now, the reason I'm showing you these two guys is because I picked up a huge bunch of Defenders of the Planet from Sparkle. So the reason I'm showing these are because I really love these knockoff figures. This is kind of like a straight up Masters of the Universe knockoff. Look at the crotch here, the loincloth. I don't know how they weren't sued. So they did the bottom half identical to the Masters of the Universe. And then they said, ah, screw it. And they knocked off here, Suko as well. So you see that they've got the top half of the Galaxy Fighters. So this is definitely one of my favorites because it's kind of like a marriage of the actual product uh, with some knockoff uh, features as well. So I picked up a few of them. And uh, the reason I picked them up is because of course we have Zolocon, don't forget. 8th and 9th of February. Um, everybody's looking for action figures at Zolocon, especially knockoff guys. Well, I'm gonna have them. We got that chap here. We got Canis Major or Major, whatever you prefer. Uh, he's almost complete, only missing a shield, but look at that. What a great original looking figure. Tell me he could not fit into anybody's Masters of the Universe collection. Easy peasy. We also got this man here, this would be, I guess, the Man at Arms knockoff. His name is Weapons Master. Still another really cool figure. And then finally, we got Strong Arm, but he is missing his strong arm. So, um, all right, now you may be wondering, did he forget about the alarm clock? Is that why he said it really was sleeping? That's why he needed it? Not at all. The reason I'm showing that off is because that is my old Masters of the Universe alarm clock which has now been upgraded to this guy. Wow. This, I seen it at the recent toy show, Jersey Shore, and I just had to have it. I've been hunting one of these for the longest of times. Unfortunately, it isn't working. The battery's corroded. There is a video up on YouTube on how to repair it, so that is great, um, but it looked pretty intensive. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I'll 
try and bribe a good friend to do it with uh, some knockoff figures or something like that. But this guy here, he is a peach. Uh, how it works is this is you've got a He-Man figure that pops up here. You've got a Skeletor figure that pops out there. So basically when the alarm goes off, these guys can pop up here and you push down to uh, turn the alarm off. You've got the eyes that light up and you've even got the Castle Grayskull that opens to show you the time here. So definitely my favorite find, of course, that will be joining my Masters of the Universe action figure, not quite action figure collection, like um, of course my uh, toothbrush holder and my soap dispenser and now my alarm clock. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for commenting. As always, if you have any questions or if you need anything identified, just make sure to write me. Thanks again. Bye now.